Good morning, guys. This is Ruby Singh. How are you? Hey, I know I get a lot of questions regarding um, oil painting, watercolor, um, you know, how to do all that and how did I start my journey. Um, so today I think um, I actually prepare a step-by-step -step guide for you guys regarding um, oil painting, okay? Um, Oil painting, actually, it's, you know, it's a ground colored pigments that that's are actually suspended in a dry liquid, uh, usually linseed oil to get oil color. Uh, it's well known um, artistic medium that's also versatile and very cost effective. Um, so let's, that's why I, I prepared this. Uh, I wrote this uh, beginner's guide a uh, step-by-step -step guide for you guys um what are let's talk first let's talk about you know what are the main uh you know points uh for for the introduction to oil painting okay so let's talk about you know um prepare some some uh, tips for that uh number one is to get organized okay you have to really organize and you have to have all your, you know, um, stuff ready. So you're not just running around to get get your, um, you know, stuff. And, and sometimes it's when, when we get into the the mode of painting, um, it's just, you know, you have no time to, to, to waste or just get up and keep going to look for your supplies or anything else. So number one is that we need to get organized. Number two is set up a, sp a space. It's in, make sure it's in well ventilated area where you can keep your uh, palettes, your supplies, um, and you're ready for your, you know, paintings to be visible. Then we will talk about invest in brushes, okay? Uh, make sure that, you know, what kind of brushes we need. Um, you know how to use them and what are the you know best brushes then prime your painting surface uh limited painting palette and then um um start with the sketch of course um uh, we have to draw right before um we paint that way we know where everything goes and we're not all over the canvas um, so we have to understand the painting order and then how to, you know, clean your area, your splice and all that. Okay. So unlike uh, acrylics and watercolors, which the, the, it dry very fast, but the oil color dries very slow. Um, if you're giving up uh, plenty of time to uh, mix all the colors and make changes while you're working. So that's a good thing, right? Because um, acrylic and, and water, it, it dries very fast. So um, because of the, the workable consistency in oil colors, it allow uh, you to layer. Um, and then, you know, you can... With oil colors, you can layer different, you know, over and over. But where um, acrylic and water, it dries very fast. Um, but the oil color, uh, since it, it dries slow, um, so it dries slow because of the the oil in it, okay? Um, so the, the consistency for oil colors... Um, it does allow you to layer and use thicker applications and textures um, and different brush strokes. So that's the benefit of doing working with oil colors. Um, the first step is to acquire all your appropriate oil painting supplies and all your equipment. Okay, and especially if you're a beginner, um, you start with the primary colors. Okay, uh, you can, uh, the, what are the primary colors? Primary colors are like red, blue, yellow, white. These are the primary colors. And um, so that's what we start with, especially when we are beginner, okay? So to get started, 
uh, we have to uh, use, you know, some colors. The, those are the main colors that every painting uh, we will need. And from those colors, we can mix and match. Okay, we can start with the um, ultramarine. Uh, is it's a very very uh, deep blue color. Okay, uh, that's a ultramarine uh, deep blue color. Then we will use a red cadmium. Uh, number three, we will use uh, yellow cadmium, uh, num cadmium yellow, and then number four, titanium um, white. Of course, we will need that, but. These are the main colors, but once we mix and match, we can bring out different colors um, out of it, okay? So beginners, we can uh, definitely can conquer, um, you know, materials in addition to, to these colors um, that we will uh, definitely need. That is like canvas um, to start with and then board for painting. We will need a brushes. Um, it could be sometimes it's a, a large hog hair brushes, or you can use also decent silicone brushes. And otherwise, um, sometimes it leave a stroke. Okay, so you want to make sure um, your brushes. Then of course we will need a painting iron, um, easel, and then we will need a palette. We will need a odorless solvent, which is. Um, or less solvent they are like you know to to wash out the brushes we will need a uh, linseed oil and uh, definitely to clean up <laughs> uh, we will need a uh, toilet paper uh, not toilet paper i'm so sorry <laughs> that is funny we'll need a uh, towel paper not the toilet <laughs> that toilet paper we needed to clean the other mess but <laughs> this is so funny we will need a towel paper i apologize sorry <laughs> but um so but you know you can also go to your uh, local art supply you know they can also let you know uh, what kind of supplies you will need uh, they can give you the list of supplies and then you know you can buy it from there so so uh, you can also ask them uh, you know that you are a beginner and you just want to start right now and what kind of supplies you need to start it and then later on you can always upgrade it so um, we talked about colors now let's talk about canvas okay um, for canvas uh, oil painting needs a canvas or board as a base right we know that um, uh, sometimes boards boards are like very thin uh, material uh, they are easy to store while while canvases are a little bit, you know, wider. It takes a little bit more space. Um, so boards, if you are, you know, uh, like myself, I have a lot of people who buy um, from me, you know, the, the, the paintings I make. Um, they request the painting. Sometimes they, you know, if I have it, I let them know that it's on, on the board or on the canvas. And uh that's their preference and then i can ship it to them and they are easy to ship also you know uh canvas because they are made of like a cloth material um it can be ripped while it's you know shipping uh but the 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 board uh you know it's a it's a hardwood board so it's uh, it's not gonna damage much um but you know the canvas you know if it's all your hard work if it something happened to the cloth canvas you know it can be damaged so you can prepare uh, what do we need to let's talk about first uh, what do we need to start working with canvas okay um you can prepare and prime your canvas by yourself uh, of choose uh, uh, from professionally prepared frames. They are made of like cut birch or uh, masonite um, as well as primed with, uh, uh, you know, coats of gesso. Um, so that way you don't have to worry because it's already made for you. It's already primed. You don't have to worry about that. Let's talk about next. Let's talk about um, your palette. Okay. 
um palette that we use what do we use palette for okay we know that it's it's easy uh, you can you know hold it in your hand while you're painting and you know it's easy to mix all the colors so palettes also like like canvases palettes also they are divided into three categories okay there are paper palettes those are disposable right you just um, use you know paper plate or paper palette you just use that and then as soon as you are done um, you can trash it out right uh, the next one is the wood palette the wood palettes are lightweight they are comfortable uh, to keep when painting um, in your hand on your left hand while you're painting with your right hand uh, that's what I use and then white uh, while uh, white you know the the glass palette they are they are glass palettes since they are so easy to clay clean okay um, you can also you know mix and match um, with the knife or, or something and they are you know also glass palette is because the paint is up there you can clean it with the palette knife or, or a blade or anything like that or you know um, uh, paper towel also but paper towel um, it actually uh, uh, what you call it, it will actually spread it out on the on the glass palette so that's that's uh, for the glass palette um and then you guys ask so many times you know what kind of brushes i need what kind of brushes uh, you need to have um for brushes actually i use you know for thicker application uh, and for uh, texture strokes uh, i use usually the bristol brushes okay bristol brushes are the ideal uh, uh for for thicker application and for thicker strokes okay then uh you can use uh, also number two uh sable or soft brushes those are on other hand are they are better um for uh, finer blending and detailing okay uh the soft brushes that's what i use when i when i'm making uh finger paintings as you can see on my uh art rubies uh, Ruby Corsing channel uh, on my YouTube channel um, you see so many of uh, my detail work in figure paintings making the eyes or making a face or you know bringing out the expression of people on their face um, and uh, then I use definitely a uh, softer brush because they are uh, finer uh, they are easy you know for for blending you need a uh, for detailing you need that kind of brush because you cannot use the stroke bristol brush because that's a harsh brush and that's for the bigger cover you know if you need to do the cover the painting okay next we will let's talk about now a solvent or paint thinner okay Um, for paint thinner, they are used to clean brushes and also to thin paint. That's what we use. But uh, make sure that they are, you know, there's no fumes in it. There's no, you know, the odor is not too strong because it's not good for you. Because it's sitting there while you're painting. It's right next to you. So you want to make sure that you have a good quality of, uh, you know, uh, brush cleaner and then good quality of paint thinner, okay? Um, so after using solvent to thin and clean brush, you know, make sure the paint thinner is uh, tightly sealed. The one you don't need it, discard that uh, because the fumes going to keep coming out, right? Because it's... it's, uh, it's uh, uh, paint thinner so make sure uh, that the it's it's tightly sealed the bottle or whatever you're using is tightly sealed or and um, uh, the fumes are not you know going all over the place 
you know, and to you also, because it's not good for your body, okay? Um, so, what is uh, the pain thinner or solvent, okay? Um, the turpentine mineral spirits, that's a lavender spike oil and rosemary oil, these are some of them that you can use uh, for that. So next, let's talk about adding the colors um, on the canvas. How do we add colors on the canvas, okay? S since the white canvas surface can be overwhelming, and believe me, uh, I'm telling you from the experience, uh, it just stare at you. Sometimes you get intimidated, you know, by it that, oh God, where should I start? And you know, how, how should I do it? But, you know, if you, if you, it, it takes time. It takes, definitely takes time. And then I'm telling you from my experience, okay? So sometimes it's easier, you know, when the, the canvas is um, already toned before you even, even start, okay? Um, and then, um, you know, how you're going to use the highlighted area, all of that, um, that comes in, in the paint uh, tone. Okay, so now let's talk about how to have our palette ready or how to start once you know what you're going to paint. Um, you already draw it. Um, your, your, what do you want to paint? So I would, as a beginner, okay, I'm, uh, this is for begin. As a beginner, you should start with few colors as possible when learning to combine all your colors, okay? Because sometimes uh, when you have too many colors all over, uh, it's very um, intimidating, okay? Then, um, what are the like okay you say ruby start with the few colors but uh, miss ruby how do we know what colors we need to use right um i would recommend that if you you are just a beginner at least start with you know uh, red blue yellow raw umber right uh, and white paint uh, these are the main, and then uh, you can definitely mix and match to make it to, uh, you know, higher pigments or different colors, okay? Um, also, you know, always, like you guys, the reason I, I made this one, uh, made this book, is for you guys, because you guys always have questions. You always send me email. You always send me um, um, requests, um in the comments that, you know, you have these questions. So what I did, I, I actually got all your questions uh, to help you guys out. And that's how, that's how I started this to teach you guys, okay? Uh, that is my number one goal that I want you guys to, you know, uh, learn definitely as a, as a teacher. Um, and then you can always come back and listen to my videos. You can watch how I paint. I have um, tons of videos on, on this channel, on my Art Rubies, Ruby Garcing channel. Uh, I have tons of videos. They are, you know, figure paintings. There's animal paintings. There's uh, uh, some of them romance paintings. <laughs> and then, um, you know, nature paintings. Um, all that is, is there. Um, and, um, so you can, you can come back over and over and see how I'm painting or what techniques I'm using to paint those. And there's tons of videos on my channel. Okay. Um, so what are, let's talk about what are the main fundamentals of art? 
so let's uh, the main fundamentals of arts uh, to familiarize yourself with is definitely the color right the value the shape the edges the brush strokes right we talked about you know the bigger brush stroke and the smaller detailed soft brush strokes okay and then techniques right what kind of techniques we use and as i said that go back to my you know my videos uh, there's tons of videos they are categorized actually you know in in different sections um, there are uh, nature paintings there's uh, um, figure paintings there's animal paintings there's you know um, all different kind of uh, um, paintings are there that you can familiarize how I do it and watch those paintings or um, you know um, send it to uh, who want to learn who you want like I'm helping you guys you guys can forward those paintings to um, or any material or my teachings to other people who also want to learn okay and that way you can um, also uh, they can learn from from these techniques they can learn from my uh, tutorials um, anytime right so at these so these are the main foundations right we, we main fundamentals main foundations are the the color the surface the value the shape the edges the brush works and the the techniques okay um so let's start uh you know planning what are the main uh compositions uh for good painting okay if it's a still life or a landscape think about how to position all your elements where to position all your elements into the canvas okay um course choosing a subject is very important right um, what you're gonna paint so sometimes for me when I pick up the canvas I really don't know what I'm going to paint um, it's just the the painting starts you know I start drawing that okay I feel like painting a nature today or I feel like painting a landscape today or I feel like um, let's paint you know that uh, you guys especially uh, my students they need to know about figure painting okay so I paint what you guys tell me to paint right um, so uh, thank you so much for letting me know uh, all your comments are really really important to me um, and um, I really really appreciate you guys um, because I am uh, doing my part um, and these are free, free classes, free training classes I am giving, uh, which takes a lot of time, right? Preparing books for you guys, writing books for you guys, uh, preparing the material for you guys, you know, um, it, it's a lot. It takes a lot of time, believe me. Um, and then also, you know, painting, it's not just, uh, it doesn't just, okay, it's done. You know, you pick up the brush and it's done. It takes a lot of time. Uh, but, you know, I want to teach you guys and I uh, really, really appreciate your comments, how you guys are um, also letting me know um, what do you want to learn, what do you want me to paint next. Um, what you, uh, you know, materials, all that. That's the reason I make these books for you guys. I write these books for you guys, okay? Um, so I really, really appreciate you guys, even though it takes so much time, believe me, <laughs> um, to write these books. Okay, so uh, we was talking about choosing a subject. 
that's the most uh, sometime you know when we pick up the canvas we could pick up the pencil sometimes it's a very difficult aspect of the painting right um, deciding what we're gonna paint correct and then make sure it's it's uh, going in that direction um, sometimes it's best to to start painting personal subjects you know right that which are interest to you um, on the painting so you can start with that uh, same thing for me you can see in my all my videos there's uh, figure paintings they are all different kind of figure paintings there's all different kind of uh, nature paintings there's all kind of different kind of animal paintings birds paintings right so you have to choose uh, what do you like and and as i said go back to my videos you know there's tons of videos um can you know in my on my channel um that you can go back and and see how i'm painting or or you know learn from those videos because i'm making all these for you guys i'm doing my part uh for you guys okay um, so first, you know, l spend little time that what you're going to draw, right? Um, it, it takes time to learn, right? Um, for everything in life, as we know. Um, so subject or, or comprehending forms, the, the colors, where the color should go, where the light should go, okay? Um, you make sure that it has a unique uh, color combination, color scheme, um, captivating uh, themes, challenging topics, you know, your showcase ability, all of that, uh, that it comes out on the painting, painting. okay? So... <laughs> We cover a lot, right? Um, we definitely covered a lot. But I uh, hope this helped you guys. Uh, and um, are you prepared to begin <laughs> uh, your painting now? Okay. Uh, I can help you with that too. So let's start, you know, painting. Um, your first painting don't be afraid actually i would say don't be afraid to make any mistakes okay most beginners would find difficult you know um okay they get frustrated and then like oh no i can't paint you know i can't paint like her or i can't paint like him um that's definitely everybody goes through that okay um however you keep in mind Okay, those masters, artists, you know, who uh, been painting for quite some time, you know, they, they been painting over and over and over, right? They, they have, th their idea comes into the mind and they like, okay, I want to paint this. That's how I work, actually. Um, the idea, it just comes, okay, when I pick up the white canvas, Okay, this is what I want to paint today, right? Um, as I said, uh, you can watch all my painting tutorials um, on my YouTube channel, correct? Um, that way you, you can also see, you know, how I'm picking up the uh, subjects, how, what I'm, uh, how I'm painting, okay? So, um, as I said, it takes a lot, you know, in the beginning, it takes a um, lot of uh, time to figure it out. Um, but uh, sometimes canvas and colors is overwhelming, it intimidates you. But, you know, um, that's with everything in the beginning, okay? May it get easier, believe me. Um, and... Um, that's why I'm making these tutorials for you guys, okay? Um, so next, uh, let's also talk about, since we already talked about, you know, um, how to make painting, 
subjects we need to choose, uh, colors we need to choose, color combination, brushes, strokes, all of that. Uh, what happened once you are already done? Then, so I would say um, that use, make sure after you finish your painting, use varnish, okay? That's like, uh, that's after artwork dried. Your oil painting, as I said, it takes a long time to dry, okay? Um, because paintings, you know, the, the, the varnish and uh, finishing elements we use just to cover the painting, uh, make sure that it does not, you know, over time when it catch with the dust or dirt or wind or um, other specks or settles, they, they, they go on the painting, right? But the, the varnish, it, it help you protect that painting uh, for years, okay? Um, and then um, because all those elements, the dirt and all those elements, they actually act as a buffer on the painting, okay, which is not good, right? So that's the reason we, we use that. Um, so while you're painting, you make sure that you examine and you enhance the painting. You take a step back after the first drawing, okay, and assess what went well and what did it, okay, or what you could improve. Um, as I said, the first painting is unlikely to be regarded as a as a masterpiece, right? You're gonna be oh, it didn't come out as good as I thought, um, but it's it's a beginner, right? So it's okay, it's okay, guys, right? Um, everybody goes through that, right? I, I mean, I've been painting for a long time. I still goes through that, that sometimes I'm not happy and I keep going, uh, to make it, uh, to perfect, right? To bring it to the perfection. So, um, of course, we all have to, we have to create, critique our own painting, right? So sometimes you keep going, keep going. Sometimes you just have to say that, okay, take a break, Ruby. <laughs> you know, um, if it's not coming out the way you want to, go ahead, take a break. You know, you have to give a break to yourself, right? Nobody gonna come and tap on your shoulder to say, Ruby, go ahead, take a break. You've been painting for a long time. And um, if it's not coming out the way you want, okay, take a break, all right? So sometimes you just have to let it sit, you know? Um, and then come back later, okay? And then, you know, you will, when you take a break, you sit back, you watch the painting, you, you will know uh, what changes you need to make, right? Make sure, you know, number two, make sure your, your colors, they are not muddy, you know, they are, the composition is, is appealing. Um, your brush strokes, right? Um, how your brush strokes are looking, right? Um, your texture, your uh, overall lightliness of the, the subject you are painting um, about that. Um, next, Let's talk about actually um, we talk about that yes yes okay I'm just thinking what should we next you guys need to know um, the oh yeah <coughs> excuse me who's talking about um, 
the texture and the capture and over overall likeliness of your painting you know um, to make sure that uh, the perspective is right the drawings are uh, well made um, so that's what I go through um, you know to when you sit back you identify all your paintings the positives and negatives aspects of um, that can help you prog progress in the next one right okay these are the negatives okay can maybe help me uh, in the next one okay so over time when you paint over and over and over again there would be a clear difference right because um, as you can see on my channel some paintings are for for beginners and some paintings are for you know who, who already been doing this kind of work okay um, I have a beginners list also that those are beginners paintings so um, you know drawings I are very important I draw first and then um, I'm at this point now I can draw with my brush I don't need a pencil to to draw right um, over time it will be a clear difference to you guys okay all right so we covered a lot <laughs> we, we did our painting and uh, let's talk about tidy up now right how we uh, clean now you know those brushes um the 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 area all of that okay so instead of using water to clean up after an oil painting uh, we you should use uh, like solvent uh, which is a uh, turpent right um, solvent but make sure it doesn't have a, have a, a fumes right make sure it's not very strong fumes uh, which is not good for your you know if you inhale fumes it's not good for you uh, for your body um, and the, especially the the colors they are oil based uh, uh, cleaning your brushes with water it won't it will be an ineffective right because the oil is still stick to your brush and it can damage the the bristol right after it dry so often after each painting uh, cleaning up your brushes thoroughly to ensure they those brushes last long because they are not cheap right um so that's that's uh, you make sure that how you're cleaning brushes is very important um as i said the oil paint and all your other mediums they should be handled with cautious uh, they are also hazards right uh, make sure because they can it's it's uh, solvent is a uh, turpentine uh, it could be hazards or you know catch the fire so make sure it's precaution you take precautions you safety is important um, you keep paint and solvents out you know out of sight uh, if if you have a children around you know that they don't touch it they don't drink it you know so because and the fumes are very strong um sometimes so uh, that you know the small kids the kids are not around while you're painting you know um uh, painting or cleaning with your brushes with those fumes you know and once you're done you you discard that um the cleaning solution okay uh, make sure it's a, a well ventilated area where the air is uh, coming out um, it's circulating the air is circulating okay so these are the the main things you know that when if you want to start oil painting and um, um, actually you know what I also want to 
talk about a little bit like improvement suggestions, right? Um, if you feel, okay, it need to be improved now, don't worry. Okay, don't worry about what people think about your painting. Okay, the satisfaction is yours, right? If you like the painting, uh, if you think it's good enough, then it's a good enough, all right? Um, accept the feedback, but sometimes the negative feedback, it discourages us, but you just keep going. Don't even worry about that, okay? So concentrate all your uh, fundamentals on your painting, okay? And then um, finally be proud of your, your modest beginning, okay? Even if your painting do not go, you know, as planned, uh, with continued practice or, or continued drawing, you can, you can still, with the practice, you can achieve that result sooner or later, okay? So that's it, guys. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Um, as I said, I write these books I, uh, for you guys um, because you guys always send me in comment section on the videos miss ruby how what kind of brushes you need how should we start i wish i can paint like you i just want to let you guys know you guys can do it definitely okay and uh, that's why i'm 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 right writing these books for you um you can always go back over and over and watch these videos right you need to um if you need to know uh, the the products or how we should start go back to these videos watch over and over these videos right and uh, and i'm always here for you guys you know that right um we are an artist family <laughs> uh, we love art so um we appreciate art because uh, whatever is going on right now in this world, right, good or bad, we can't rely on that, right, on the circumstances of life, what life has given it to us, right? But we can at least rely on what we know, right, which is art. Um, as myself, um, my background is in science. In um, gra my graduation degree from university is in in uh, biochemistry, um, scientist. <laughs> but art was always at my core value. You know, uh, from beginning at a young age, I used to draw all the time and. Uh, my father was a professor. He always said, no, you need to have some good education, you know, so you can make a living, right? <laughs> be a scientist or be a, be a doctor or be an engineer, you know, that's what all parents do, right? Because they want best for us. Um, because um, over and over it's been said that, you know, artists, it's, it's, it's hard to survive or make a living just uh, being an artist. And they are right too, you know. Um, but you can always go back for the comfort um, when everything else is chaos is going around the world as we know that um, you can go back to your corner and just start painting and that's the reason um, I make these paintings for you I make these tutorials for you guys that's the reason I make these write these books for you guys that's the reason I make uh, and write these you know uh, lessons for you guys right um, so you can always 
come back and ask me any questions on the comment section i definitely reply uh, try to answer all my questions um and i'm here for you guys okay Mwah. i love you all i wish you all the best for your new journey and uh, we will talk soon and for more tutorials more new paintings keep watching this channel and uh, i'll talk to you later thank you god bless you all bye